Out in the middle of the lake Underneath the wavy water There's a city you've never seen Where the stars are starfish And the skies are green And you breathe the water And you drink the air Don't you think you could be happy there In underwater land In underwater land Just hold your breath And hold my hand We're going down To underwater land Feel the minnows nibble, nibble on your nose Feel the crabs tickle, tickle at your toes And the seashell house in the golden sand Just you and the fishes in underwater land And you splash around swimming all day There's underwater games to play And you never have to wash your face and hands No one will ever know it if you wet your pants You can jump on a seahorse for a gallop Or you can skip a little rope with the scallop A cuttlefish will be there to cut your hair And you'll wear underwater underwear You go to school as often as you wish Cause the school is just a school of fish And you can't talk, talk Cause they won't understand You gotta go In underwater land, in underwater land, in underwater land, you'll have an underwater bowl for your raisin bran. When you have your breakfast in underwater land, you'll sleep in an oyster bed with the life turtle pillow for your head. But there ain't no buses or taxi cabs You got to ride muscles or taxi crabs Now when you're crossing the street to the park You better look both ways for the shark And you got to hold fins cause you can't hold hands Especially with a lobster in underwater land There's underwater baseball to play But the ball keeps floating away And it's hard to keep garbage down in the can It keeps floating to the ceiling in underwater land And the needlefish will do all you did For a pet you'll have a catfish kitten And there'll be a cowfish close at hand If you want a glass of milk In underwater land, in underwater land, in underwater land, hold your breath and hold my hand, we'll splash along together in underwater land, then the lobster gets trombone out, hear the tooting of the trumpet by the trout, and the carp plays a harp and the crab claps hands and now you're gonna hear the underwater band play the tuna a tune as you dance across the sand to the underwater music of the underwater band so just grow a tail and fin Throw some bright and shiny scales on your skin And we'll swim down to that magical sand Way down deep in underwater land Where you can shout with the trout Ride a bike with the pike Play a harp with the carp Eat your beans with sardines Eat your meals with the seals Go to church with the perch Do stunts with the grunts Do a sail with the snail Have dinners with the minners Go golfing with the dolphin Play hooky with the snooky Get sloppy with the crappie And have more fun than you ever planned In underwater land
Said the shark down in the ocean, I just don't understand why I'm starving in the water when there's fresh kids on the land. And why do folks keep saying that a shark can't swim on shore just because no shark has ever tried it out before? So he swam up to the sandy shore and burrowed with his fin. And with a shout, he stuck his snout a centimeter in. Another day, another inch, then two, then three, till he was swimming neath the land the way he swam upon the sea. Now he's probably neath the sidewalk while you run and jump and skate, but you'll never ever see him until it's much too late. So let this be a lesson to every shark and kid. Just cause something ain't been done don't mean it can't be did. And when you're sitting in your yard, you better get up fast when you see a zig and zag and fin come zipping through the grass. And now to be said in one long fish breath. The jellyfish, the jellyfish, he's sweeter than the utter fish. He's in the sandwich island searching for a peanut butter fish. The blowfish, oh, the blowfish, blowing candles out excites that fish. He'd like to go to birthday parties, but no one invites that fish. The hermit crab, the hermit crab, he's such a pinchy grabby fish. He lives alone beneath the stone, that's why he's such a grabby fish. The bluefish and the redfish fish, they're looking for the right fish fish to help them make the stars and stripes, but they can't find a whitefish fish. The flying fish, the flying fish, he's wiser than the crying fish. He flies above the fishermen so he won't be a frying fish the tuna fish the toony fish her name is juicy lucy fish says when i'm hooked let me get cooked don't turn me into sushi fish there's muddy fish there's messy fish there's scare you have to deathy fish i'll tell you more about fishy fish but i'm all out of breathy fish oh once there was a cuttlefish who didn't know how to swim and all the other cuttlefish would laugh and point at him Though it hurt his feelings, he never once complained He just sat there underneath the water waiting for a train See him waiting for a train, waiting for a train Sitting on a seashell in his little hat and cane With his umbrella opened up to keep off the rain There sat the cuttlefish waiting for a train his father said he could swim if he would only try. His mother said he can't swim, the water gets in his eyes. His grandpa said he's got to swim, it goes against the grain. To see a fish sitting like this, waiting for a train. His teacher said he's been trained to swim, but he don't give a hoot. His sister said he's ashamed to swim, he's got no swimming suit. His brother said, who cares if he swims, it's giving me a pain To see a fish sitting like this, waiting for a train He keeps waiting for a train, waiting for a train Sitting on his seashell in his little hat and cane With his umbrella opened up to keep off the rain There sits the cuttlefish, waiting for a train his friends all said, come on and swim, come on and swim with us. It isn't right for a fish to ride a plane or a train or a bus. Why must you be so different? It's driving us insane to see a fish sitting like this, waiting for a train. Then up spoke the kingfish, said, man, you must be dumb. You're waiting around for something that ain't never gonna come. You must believe in fairy tales or else you lost your brain. You're a muddled fish, a befuddled fish for waiting for a train. Then all of a sudden, all the fishes down below, they heard an engine chugging and they heard a whistle blow. And they heard a voice yell, all aboard, and a cowbell clang and there goes the cuttlefish waving from the train see him waving from the train waving from the train see him sitting on the smokestack with his little hat and cane see his umbrella opened up to keep off the rain oh there goes the cuttlefish waving from the train Singing better.
about fish sitting in the boat here. Hey, who's this? Hi, I'm Bubba Barracuda. I've been listening under the sea. How come you're singing songs about every fish but me? Well, cause Bubba Bubba Barracuda Not an easy name to sing And Bubba 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 Barracuda Does not rhyme with anything No? No. Well, what about, what about Bermuda? Huh? Well, uh, and what about a blue scooter? Huh? Well, I suppose you yeah, could. Yeah. And, what? and what about a beautiful uh, b- blue-eyed b- barracuda b- biking through b- Bermuda on a, on a b- brown scooter? Yeah, that might. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what if he was naked? Naked. A, oh. a b- big b- bear, a blue-eyed b- barracuda b- biking through the b- backwards b- a, a b- uh, beautiful I Bermuda on a b- b- broken Scooter oh, in the nuda, b- banging his six shooter and oh, hawking. all right, all right. Oh, nothing could be cuter yeah. than a blue-eyed b- b- barracuda. You got it. The most b- beautiful fish in the sea. Yeah, handsomest, handsomest. Okay. Handsomest fish in the sea. You got it. Now. And now that I've sung this song about him, maybe he'll stop bugging me. Okay? Okay. Okay. Shark has a fin that goes ziggity-zen And teeth that go clickety-clack And if you go with him for a swimity-swim You may not come bickety-back You may not come bickety-back Bickety-bookety-bookety-back So don't swim after dark with the shirkety-shark Or you may not come bickety-back And a whale has a tail that goes flippity flap, and jaws that go crunchity crunch. And if you go for a sail with the willity whale, you may be his lunchity lunch. You may be his lunchity 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 lunch. If he asks you to brunch and he likes you a bunch, you may be his lunchity lunch. The old octopus, he don't like to be pushed, but he likes to get hugged and get kissed. And if that eight-arm lug ever gives you a hug, you may just get squashity squished. You may just get squashity squishity squishity squashity squashity squished. If he gives you a squeeze, just say let go, please. I don't like getting hugged by no fish. Oh, the little piranha, they swim where they wanna But they don't like swimming alone If they see you wiggle and they start to nibble You may soon be bonity bones You may soon be bonity, binity, boonity, beanity, bonity bones So if you see piranha right there in your sauna And they ask you in Just say I don't wanna And if they insist Just say I'm not gonna And put on your shoes and run home Or you may soon be bonity bones You may just be bonity Binity bonity Binity bonity bones 
Or you may just get squashity, squishity, squashity if you don't leave them alone. So when they go lunchity, munchity, crunchity, teeth go and clickety, clack. If you go with them for a swimity swim, you may not come bickety back. You may not come bickety back. Swim after dark with the shirkety shark, or you may not come bickety back. You may not come bickety back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just kidding. I was looking for something for show and tell, and I found a flounder in the well. Say I to myself, this is really swell. I'll take it to school for show and tell. But I forgot for quite a spell to take it to school for show and tell. Now it's three weeks later, and oh well, I'll take it to school for show and smell. Down in the river bed In that school of fishes Was a rowdy little trout named Fred While the others read books About baits and hooks Fred would just giggle and shout Said I don't need school Cause I'm so cool And so I'm dropping out Stay in school Said the crawfish, stay in school Said the pa and ma fish, stay in school Bark the dog fish, or you'll be sorry someday Fred said, get out of my way So Fred started hanging with them slippery heels Round the pool hall of the lagoon Giving high fives to the octopus Which took all afternoon He's singing the blues With the bluefish all night Jamming with the salmon all day Smoking with the smoke fish Catting with the catfish And spawning his life away Stay in school Said the sailfish, stay in school. Said the yellow tail fish, stay in school. Said the ray fish, and learn how to live down here. But Fred said, give me another beer. Squirm down in the bottom of the brook. He thought it was a nice fat worm. He hadn't learned it was a fisherman's hook. Well, he did it, he bit it, he swam along with it, then it pulled him right out of the pool. And as it frizzled and fried. Sniffled and cried I guess I should have stayed in school Stay in school Said poor Freddy As they ate him up tail daddy Said take it from a fool Who thought he was cool And stay in school Now there still is that school of fishes Down in the river bay But in that school of fishes There ain't no rowdy little trouty named Fred And though he was only seven years old Fred met with 
with a terrible fate So kids be cool and don't quit school At least until you're eight I'm Shale. I'm Dale from, from Shale, Shale and Dale. Dale. So we're having a whale of a fish tail sale. It's a whale of a sail in every detail. We got yellow tail tails. We got sailfish tails. We got tails of snails. We got tails of whales. But no fish scales. No fish in trails. And for all you bird lovers, we got tails of quails. And if you're a dog lover, there's Airedale tails. And some of our tails are frilly and frail. And some of our tails are sharp as nails. And some of our tails are hard as shale, but, but they, they all taste good with a glass of ale. So hit the trail for Dale and Shales. And see the great tails Dale and Shale unveil. We got tails by the pail. Got tails by the bale. We'll sell them wholesale. We'll sell them retail. So pick up your pails and fill them with tails. And put your tail pails up here on the scale. We'll ship them by mail. We'll send them by rail. Or Pony Express down the Overland Trail. So hurry to sales and Dale for, for tails. tails. But when you pick a tail, please don't inhale. Cause most of our tails are a little bit stale. Oh, a little bit stale and a little bit pale. But don't tell the police or they'll throw us in jail. For selling stale tails at a wholesale sale. And when we're in jail, who'll pay our bail? We'd stay in that jail through rain, snow, and hail. Hey, Shale. What, Dale? Our sale has failed. Let's leave these tails and go skiing and veil. Or go seek in the grail Or go pick up the mail Or get a manicure on our fishing nails Bye-bye, everybody We're hitting the trail For a parasail sail in Farmingdale So all you females And all of you males Who came for your bales and pails of tails You can weep, you can wail You can howl like a gale But, but you, you just missed the this Dale, shale, stale, stale tail, sail the octopus decided that he'd like to take a trip So he went and joined the Navy, now he's working on a ship Cooking cabbage for the captain, making muffins for the mate And when they yell, all hands on deck, he shows up with eight Cause he can raise the flag and paint the mast and lower the foam and polish the brass Squeeze the juice and shine the boots and iron the captain's sailor suit And still have one hand free to give us a look. He wears a fancy uniform with gold and silver leaves. It took a week to sew it, but a year to sew the sleeves. He'd like to have eight meals a day, but they just give him two. So every day there's a couple of sailors missing from the crew, and he can polish the rails and turn the rudder, and turn the sails and turn the butter. Play on the fiddle and tap his toes, and swap the deck and roll up the hose. Still have one and three for picking his nose. One night he came to dinner and he found to his surprise that he and the old captain were the only ones alive. The captain said, Go back to work, I'm the boss, and that is that. So he just ate up the captain and put on the captain's hat Now he can check the compass and chart the trip And give the orders and steer the ship Till the tiller and let out the line All at the very same time And still have one hand free To scratch his behind So if you're on vacation and you'd like to take a trip And you come down to the Navy dock to look that can hardly float or one that's red with rust But whatever you do, don't join the crew of Captain Octopus Or you'll be hoisting the anchor and shooing the gulls Scraping the barnacles off the hulls Turning the winch and ringing the chimes And feeding the captain at dinner time But you'll have to ask a friend To scratch your behind
Did you ever hear a catfish yowling? Did you ever hear a dogfish howling? Did you ever hear a sheephead going ba ba ba? Did you ever hear a tigerfish growling? You'll never know what you might hear when you put a seashell up to your ear. You might hear music strange and grand, or you might just get an ear full of sand. Now, two little minnows were sitting around talking about the kind of things minnows talk about: the high price of algae, the haddocks halitosis, and the terrible table manners of the trout. Said one little mini to the other little mini, our future looks hopeless and dark. It seems unfair that little minnows everywhere are just snacks for the big old shark. Said one little mini, you're talking like a ninny, 'cause fish history has shown those big fish always eat us little fish, 'cause we're always going swimming alone. And one by one, we don't get much done, but we could make our mark. If all us little minnows ever got together, I'll bet you we could beat that shark. Together, all together, not just one by one. If you can't get through it and alone, don't do it. Together's gonna get it done. So they got on the phone and called all the other minnows, and the minnows came splashing free. From the coast of Maine to the Ponce Train, up the mighty Mississippi to the Bering Sea, from the Cumberland River to the Panama Canal, minnows come from near and far. Alone we're nothing, but together we're something. Now let's go get that shark. Together, all together, not just one by one. There's nothing much to it if we really want to do it. Together's gonna get it done. So here comes a million zillion frightened mad minnows. Oh, what a glorious sight! Swimming through the waves to the shark's dark cave, yelling, "Come on out and fight!" Then in they go with the hidey hidey ho, and we heard a million munches and slurps, and we ain't seen none of those minnows since. But we didn't hear a big shark burp. He said, "Together, all together, how good they all do feel." One by one, they were not much fun, but together they made a nice meal for shark. It was a really fine meal. Million minnows made a marvelous meal. <laughs> Hi there, this is Gil Nitz, your reporter from underwater, and look who's coming back downstream. Saddest looking sailfish I ever have seen. What? It's Anna from Havana. Hi, Anna. Hi, Gil. Well, what's the matter, Anna? Are you ill? Oh, my heart's been broken too, Gil. That's why I'm feeling kind of blue, Gil. Well, now things can't be all that bad. Tell us the reason you look so sad. Well, I was sitting on my front perch. With a grouper, friends of mine. When Swordfish Sam came from Squid Row,、oh. we had a whale of a time.、Mm -hmm. He smelt a little musky, but he had the kind of muscles I like, and I was happy as a clam until yes, he rode off with my pike. He. He stole your pike. Yes, your brand new pike. And then he sold it. He sold it to a lone shark. Oh well, well, did you did you call a carp? <laughs> yes, but he didn't come. Why not? He was hard of herring. Oh, Anna, poor Anna, poor Anna. No wonder you feel crappy. But don't just sit around and grunt and crab about it. He'll come back someday. He'll never come back. That rotten bass! Don't say it, Anna. Sing it. Oh, how I'd like to scallop 
that sneaky swordfish Sam. He stole my pike, he stole my heart, and now I'm in a jam. What will I do? What will I do? I'm so alone and lonely. Oh, cheer up, Anna. You'll love again. Love and baloney. Oh, well, uh, thank you, Anna, and uh, we'll certainly remember the uh, lesson you taught us. Now, some snails are slow, as you probably know, but Speedy the snail, he was fast. He thought fast, walked fast, ate fast, and talked fast. Why, he was just a flash in the hundred yard dash. So he got himself a race car, painted S's on the doors, that stood for Speedy the Snail Speed Show. And with a big racing motor and Speedy at the wheel, oh, you should have seen that S car go. Oh, you should have seen that S car go. You should have seen that S car go. With the wind in his face, why he could win any race. You should have seen that S car go. He won the French Grand Prix and the Indy 500, and the money started rolling in. He had a bunch of advertising patches on his jacket from the people that were sponsoring him. He went on TV doing spark plug commercials. He was basking in the spotlight flow. And when they called him out to Hollywood to do his life story, you should have seen that S car go. You should have seen that S car go. You should have seen that S car go. When they started waving cash, you should have seen old Speedy dash. You should have seen that S car go. Well, Speedy's mama sent him a letter when he won the International Cup. She said, son, you're going to meet a lot of sharks and barracudas, so don't let them start buttering you up. Because sometimes on the way to fortune and fame, it's best for a snail to take it slow. But when those starfish started fawning and said, how about some spawning? You should have seen that escar go. You should have seen that escar go. Oh, you should have seen that escar go. When they said, take us for a spin, he said, jump right in. And you should have seen that escar go. Speedy got rich and moved to Gay Paris. Bought a villa with a heated swimming pool. Filled it up with hot water and invited some friends. And they all agreed the party was cool. They were rubbing on the tannin butter, lying in the sun, getting lazy, drinking fine Bordeaux. But when the French folks started sniffing the garlic and the butter, you should have seen that escar go. Should have seen that S car go. You should have seen that S car go. Mm -hmm. When his luck ran out into everybody's mouth, you should have seen that S car go. Oh, you should have seen that S car go. Mm -hmm. You should have seen that S car go. He should have listened to his mother. Stayed away from the butter. You should have seen that S car go. Clam beside the sea, inside of a seedy sack. I says to the clam, dear sir, or ma'am, allow me to call you Jack. Come home with me for company and maybe a midnight snack. For I have some nice Tabasco sauce to pour up on your back. Put the clam in a pewter pot and I boiled a burbling brew. His green eyes gleamed as he steamed and he steamed, then he grew and he grew and he grew. He was very small, now he's 12 feet tall and I'm feeling rather blue. Cause he's pouring Tabasco sauce on my back. I wonder what he'll do. They're funky, they're gunky, they're drippy, they're slippy, 
They're oozy, they're juicy, they're bloody, they're cruddy, they're soupy, they're gloopy, they're mushy, they're slushy, they're squishy, they're splishy, they're... I like pitting in a bubbling brook with a bamboo pole and a bent pin hook. Catch them as bluegills, toss them in a net. Come home and clean them up and what do you get? You get fish guts Slopping up the table You get fish guts Spilling down the sink You got fish guts Dripping on your shoes He's all yucky and gooky And the shores do stink I love fish It's baked or broil Brown in butter Or fried in oil I love the crispy Outside skin side butter on a bark when I see what's inside fish guts filling up the kitchen fish guts oozing across the floor fish guts here they come a squish and better get out quick before they're blocking up the door In a mountain of gunk a mile wide And when they find us they'll know we died of fish guts Smearing up the windows Fish guts Running down the hall Fish guts Full of little minnows They splatter on the ceiling And they splatter on the wall Fish guts Got us all in fish for supper what do you say we all go out and get ourselves some pizza instead of fish guts ooh, 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 ooh. fish guts It's cold and dark and dank Cause they've taken the poor little dolphin away Hold it, hold on, hold on a minute I'm not gonna sing a song about an empty dolphin tank I'm not bad Well, there's just no porpoise in it 